Hello and welcome to I Am Organic Gardening. Today I'm going to show you how to do a free soil test in your garden. So one of the most important things to build soil in your garden, you need to have mycorrhizal fungi. So I'm going to show you how to detect this or to see if it was there or is still there in your soil. Let's remove a large area of the wood chips and get down to that soil or clay. Also too, I'd like to state, if you have sandy soil, you do not have to worry about this because you have good drainage. With the help of the tractor, I'm going to remove a large area of wood chips so you can see uh, what I'll be talking about in the next few minutes. And also too, you don't have to make it this large for yourself. You just need to get in there uh, with about the size of a shovel. Now we have a good area to work with. Now take your shovel and place it down in the soil at least say two to three inches and pull back on the handle. Now you're just going to take a sample with your hand. You're not going to try to break it too much. See how I take out this whole piece here? You just need a piece about, or take two pieces, about the size of a, a golf ball each. Now you're going to take these samples and just put them in a place that doesn't get direct sunlight and they can dry out in the air naturally for about two days. So two days have passed by and we're going to start our test now. What I have is two large jars filled with water and we're going to insert the soil uh, from both samples, one from the Back to Eden garden or your garden and the other side I'm going to put from my garden which has a living root in it. So first I'm going to do is the Back to Eden Garden on the right hand side. I'm just going to take this little mesh screen here that I made, put that in the middle, and we're just going to lower down the water. We'll do the same with the garden soil. Now you can see here, let me get a little closer. The one on your right side is the back to Eden soil that it had the problems in, and you can see that it's dissolving. Let me get a better close up for you. Now you can see the one on the right hand side, which is the uh, soil underneath the wood chips in the back to Eden, how it's falling apart slowly because there's no glomalin in there. Glomalin or glomalin is from a living root, and that's what holds all that soil together. Now the most important thing is that it opens up the soil and allows all that uh, air and water to go inside the soil without falling apart, but it allows for drainage. And that's the most important thing about mycorrhizal fungi. The hyphae makes that glomalin and opens up that soil and keeps it open. And you can see how dirty the water is and how it's coming apart. That means there's a lack of that mycorrhizal fungi that was ever in the soil or is living right now. So we have to get that mycorrhizal fungi growing back in the soil again. And the only way that's going to happen is to have a living root in the soil to keep that mycorrhizal fungi alive because it has to have a living root uh, attached to it so it can stay alive. Now it is going to take some time to do this, so you have to let it sit for at least, at least a half hour and then come back and check it for sure. Uh, after a half hour you can get a really good result, but you can see, and this is a half hour later, how cloudy that water is because that soil is falling apart because it's not being held together by glomalin from the mycorrhizal fungi root, the hyphae. On the left hand side is a good garden soil that has a mycorrhizal fungi in it and is healthy and is staying together and is keeping the water clear because all those particles are held together by that glomalin. 
Now what's interesting about the healthy soil is the one with the glomalin in it from the mycorrhizal fungi is if you take the sample we have and you break it open nice and slow you can see that it's wet inside. All that water went through it and it didn't break it apart and you can see how moist it is on the inside and everything is fine because all those pore spaces are allowing all that water to go in there so it can feed your roots when you go when the roots go through the soil and on the clay side we'll break that open and you can see that it's dry on the inside there's just no way for that water to get in there because the mycorrhizal fungi is not alive in that soil and how dry it is and it takes forever for the water to get through that. At home you can use a disposable cup then just take some type of screen but large enough mesh in there and put your sample in the middle and just place it down there but halfway down so there's water all the way around it. I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, the most important thing you have to remember man cannot make soil. Nature has to make soil. Nature has to have a living root in the ground, grow mycorrhizal fungi from that root. That mycorrhizal fungi hyphae goes into the soil now and then keeps it open through the process of exuding glomalin. And that's the glue that keeps the soil particles together and also open at the same time so the water and air can penetrate through the soil. The only true way to be 100% sure if you have mycorrhizal fungi in the soil is through a microscope. And again, I thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Please leave comments below because when I make my next video in a few days, I want to take the majority of the questions and answer them for you in the next video if, you, if I miss something or if I'm not making something clear for you to understand. Thanks.